it is 10 o'clock and we are getting somewhat of a late start. But that's okay. We only have a four hour drive. We are on our way to Panama City. Uh, Ken has to do some work down there. We're going to have some beach time and uh, just play around for a couple days. We are off. This is our first big trip in the Ram 2500. So we're excited about that. And um, that's about it. So we will check back with you. We're on our way to hook up. We have uh, stuff in the back seat that needs to go in the trailer, all the stuff for the fridge. And uh, we'll check back. Hook her up and away we hook go. Hook her up and go. Okay, we are all hitched up. Tires are all good. And we are off on the road. We left at 11 o'clock, so basically it took us about an hour. No, we left the house at 10. Yeah. Left the house at 10. So by the time we drove up, we had to stop at the post office, mail letter. Then we had to like empty the food and put the stuff in the fridge. Yeah, and you know, put the blinds up and make sure everything was secure inside. We hitched up. We ended up um, so we have a sleeve for our blue ox, but we might change that out. I'm not sure. Um, we'll see how it tows this trip. And uh, that's it. So our next stop is going to be Bucky's in uh, Fort Valley, Georgia. For some diesel fuel, we're going to probably top off our def. Yeah. And, uh, Before we hook it. the trailer, the gas mileage on the truck is around 20.1 to 19.9 yes. uh, miles per gallon on the diesel. On the diesel. And now we're already down towing the trailer so far. I mean, we haven't gone that far, but it's down to 18.6. 18.6. So, so we expect that. It's, I don't know what we're supposed to expect. 15, uh, expect 14? Expect somewhere down around 12. We'll see. Hello there. The drive is going good. It uh, actually, I have to watch Ken's speed because before you knew it, he was going like 68, almost 70. Like we never towed that fast at all because maybe we just couldn't. I don't know, or we felt it. But we're we're around 61. That's our sweet spot. 61, 62. Uh, we're going downhill. We're getting 16.5 miles to the gallon now. So, we have, uh, let's see, an hour, two hours and 11 minutes to Bucky's and 124 miles. And uh, it's going good, nice and smooth. Well, we just stopped at a Walmart parking lot and had our lunch. We had had a sub left over from yesterday, so that's what we ate, and uh, we're just getting ready to head back in the truck, and um, our next stop will be Bucky's. Note to self, do not come to Bucky's on a Saturday to try to get diesel and depth. Super busy today. Okay. It was a little bit of an ordeal. Because it was so busy at Bucky's. Every car that's coming off the interstate is going in there. And we had to go into one of just like four lines in the whole place that had deaf and diesel. But we had to wait for a big um, RV to pull out. So then we went in and turned out to be okay. So we filled everything up. So. We are coming into our 
turn Something right, new. then your destination will be on the left. Our first love's RV stop. So we're here in Cordell, Georgia at the RV Loves truck stop. And let's see, after hours check in, no attendant or use kiosk. So, all right, I gotta figure this out. The gate is open, it gave me a gate code. Oh, there's quite a few people here. We're down towards the end at the uh, pulse route. There's another Imagine. Another country. People will come here. We were going to stay at one of these in Illinois for like a week. We go straight? Yes. It's pull throughs. Yeah. I gotta put my seatbelt on. Otherwise, this is going to beep incessantly. So these are nice, nice uh, concrete pads, gravels, sites, and we are number 26 down here at the end, second to the end. Here is hooking up our electric here at the Love's RV Travel Stop. This is very nice, all concrete pads. We have a neighbor here. And uh, you got it there, babe? Yep. Um, it's quite busy here. There's quite a lot of people in the back end sites. They have like a splash pad down there. We'll take a walk later and see. Uh, I don't think we are just hooking up our electric and that's it. And here's the new setup with the new Ram. So loving this uh, Loves RV, I'm telling you. It's easy in, easy out, and um, actually the exit to go out is right there. So in the morning, we're just gonna pull right out. Well, good morning. It is a balmy day out today. It is warm already. And we, this place really did fill up. I mean, there's why a few campers all the way down that row. There's like four beside us. And we're just heading out. We unplugged, put the jacks away, and we are just ready to roll. Here's some of the noise that we heard during the night. Almost feels a little misty out. Very clousy today, but we are getting ready to roll. Is it possible to sweat at 8 a.m.? Well, I can tell you, yes it is because it is so muggy out. I don't know what the humidity is. It is high though. But as you can see from the clouds, it's probably gonna rain. But oh my gosh. Ugh, sticky. This is like a Florida day. Well, we have started our engines. And go through the truck stop. We might get weighed at the cat scale. So we'll see how easy that is to get in and out of. And we are off. We are in the town of Thomasville, Georgia. Looks like a cute little town. Beautiful trees. Uh, with the moss hanging neat and clean here and we are on our way to Panama City and uh, taking the back road. Here's the old railroad station. Super cute little town. south to 
I-10. This is a beautiful divided highway road. We are um, south of Thomasville and we are approaching the Florida Georgia line. It's been a beautiful day driving. It is uh, 81 degrees. Somewhere along the line we are going to have a time change. Here is our see here a lot of the destruction and the trees down from the hurricane that came through here. They're all leaning to the right, which would be east, which is right because it came from the west at this point. We are on I-20 heading west. We have crossed over the time zone somewhere along the line. It doesn't really say but I checked with my daughter and asked her what time it was there. Of course, it was 12.22 there, it was 11.22 here. 89 degrees, and we have 35 miles in 45 minutes till we get to our Panama City campground. So just on a little bit of back roads here. It was a great road. State College. And here is uh, an inlet, or maybe this is part of the Gulf of Mexico over there. I don't know. We don't have our bearings about us yet. Site number 45, pull through. Oh, look at the birds on the truck. They're on the tires. That's crazy. And uh, we had to come up on our Anderson box, our ramps, because even though this is a concrete site, it was not level side to side. We did everything we could to try and uh, get that level without having to come up on those uh, bars but no go so now we're perfectly level and it looks great so here we are at the Sun RV if you like our videos give us a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and also ring that little bell and then you'll get notified when we do post another video have a great day.